Hey planner friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning from the 5th to the 11th of June in my medium pattern planner. Let's get started. So the kit I'm using this week is Chill from Planner Face. I do PR for Planner Face so you can use my code in the description to save yourselves a little bit of money. And the PR freebies have just changed so make sure you pick up my new freebie on your next order. This isn't exactly the most summery kit that I've picked for July, but it does have some really chill self-care vibes and I was hoping to have a nice easy week this week, but as always, life got in the way of that. So as you can see, I've started my pen base for this spread by shading in the parts of the timelines where I'm going to be asleep and then going in with my grey stabilo fine liner to mark in my alarm times and split my personal and work to do sections in half to give myself a little bit of extra checklist space as well as creating a five day habit tracker for things that I have to do at work every single day. Next, I'm going in with my green Crayola super tip, which is my theme colour for July, to colour in the daily focus boxes of days where I'm not going to be at work, and also highlight over that checklist space to get a pop of my theme colour in the bottom left hand corner. Next, I'm going in with a green Staedtler tripless fine liner to mark in my work hours, so I'm just going over the line on the timeline where I start and finish work. For these lines and the alarm time lines, I'm using my old plastic ruler because my new metal rulers don't bend and my planner is getting pretty chunky on the left hand side already. The last part of my pen base is just to write in my meals for the week, so I'm just adding in breakfast, lunch and dinner to each day of the week with my Pilot Friction Pen and then I'm going to highlight over that with my green Crayola Super Tip. Each time I go over one of these meals with my green Crayola Super Tip, I dab my finger where the pen lifts off the page so the ink doesn't pull, but this does mean that I get a green pen all over my hands every time I make a spread. So if anyone knows a better way to stop the ink from pooling and ghosting to the other side of the page, please let me know because I'm fed up of being covered in pen. That's pretty much it for my pen base, now we can get started with some stickers. As always I'm starting with my meal plan sticker which is just something that I make in Excel and then print off on sticker paper myself. I'm then using the squared off half box from the kit to fill my weekly focus box and adding a bit of deco and then adding my habit tracker and a decorative box over the quote section in the sidebar. As always with the decorative box I measured it on the sticker paper to trim a bit off so that it would fit and then I hadn't measured it quite right so I'm just trimming off a teeny tiny piece from the top of the sticker so that there's a little bit of white space between the meal plan and the deco box. To cover up the headers that are printed in the planner I've cut one of the washi strips from the kit in half so it's about 7.5mm thick and I'm covering the space movement at possibility header and the personal and work to do list headers. From the other strip of washi in the kit I've cut a 5 or 6mm strip so that I can create an extra header for my gratitude section in the bottom left hand corner. Next I'm just going to add in the weekend banner and then we can get into the day to day planning. So to start off on Monday I'm using one of the regular event labels and one of the skinny event labels from the kit to mark in my two duty scientist roasted sessions that day. And as usual I'm cutting the flag portion off the regular event label and the label portion off the skinny event label. Next I'm using one of my pinky stickers workout printables to mark in my HAPA class in the evening and then using another skinny event label from the kit and the balloon doodle to mark in my friend's birthday. Moving over to Tuesday and there wasn't a lot going on, so I'm first marking in a bill. I've cut the bill due sticker from the kit in half horizontally so that it doesn't take up as much space in my planner, and then just cutting a little chunk out as these are standard vertical width stickers and that is not the size of the columns in a medium passion planner. Next I'm marking in another workout and then we can move over to Wednesday, where I'm first using a glitter header from the kit and a work from home script from Planner Face to mark in that I was working from home. On Wednesday I got to attend another conference for work so I'm marking the morning and afternoon sessions of that in using a third box from the kit and the book doodle and then a quarter box from the kit and a laptop doodle. I'm really happy that we're able to go to virtual conferences now because it means that I can actually go to them but I had some technical difficulties on Wednesday morning which were incredibly stressful but I got there in the end.
For Wednesday evening I initially only had a workout planned but everything ended up getting moved around this week so that sticker isn't going to be staying there for long. Moving over to the second half of the week and I'm starting on Thursday by marking in that it was bin day using this bin icon from the Planner Face Multicolour Doodle Sheet. I'm next using a quarter box from the kit and this cute little cat doodle that I had from a Planner Face freebie I think to mark in that we were going to be cat sitting for our friends while they were on holiday. On Friday I just had a workout planned for the evening and then we can move on to marking in my planning time on Saturday, as usual using the pattern flag from the kit and a planner doodle and then a third box with some deco from the kit and an edit script from planner face to mark in editing and recording this voiceover. But I'm recording this voiceover on Sunday because I was super tired yesterday. Next on Saturday I'm using a flag from the kit and a dumbbell doodle from Planner Face to mark in my PT session. I knew this was going to get moved when I put this in but I didn't know when it was going to be moved to during the week so I figured I would put it in for the time that it would normally have been and then move it when I knew what time it was going to be. It ended up being on Wednesday along with like literally everything else. I've then just used a half box from the kit to mark in whatever we got up to on Saturday which ended up being a little movie night which was lovely and then I'm using another event label from the kit and the grocery doodle to mark in doing the food shop on Sunday morning. As usual I'm then just marking out some cleaning time using the three heart cleaning checklist from the kit and the vacuum doodle. I only had one upload to mark in this week so as usual I've cut up a piece of the Monday to Sunday box and then I'm layering that with an upload script from Plannerface and a YouTube button icon from Ickle & Co for this video that you're watching right now. I then remembered that I picked up some planning scripts from Plannerface so I added that in and then my workout on Sunday. As I don't put too much work information in this planner, I like to fill up some of the space where I will be at work with the decorative boxes from the kit. So I've just picked out a few and the ones that are in the morning I've cut down to 3.5 centimetres high on the sticker sheet and then I'm just trimming off the side whilst they're on the planner to fit within the columns. And then for the deco box on Friday I've cut down to I think 2 centimetres so that it fits between lunch and the end of work. The last stick is to add are my checklists for work stuff, so I would like to record the top two or three things that I do each day just so that I can see if I had a particularly busy day and that might be why I have less energy for the rest of the week. So I've cut the flag portion off all of the three heart checklists from the kit and then I'm also going to use the to-do box heart checklist as well on Friday morning. I didn't cut the little chunk out of this box particularly well so I'm just covering up the joint with this piece of deco from the kit as well. I haven't bought any new blades for my craft knife so the tip of this one is slightly chipped and I'm just working around it at this point. So that's all of my stickers down for the week, now I can fill in my plans using my Pilot Friction Pen. I always use an erasable pen in this planner because my plans do change so often and that's the exact same reason that I use removable stickers too. So this week wasn't exactly the easy chill week that I'd been hoping for but it wasn't too bad overall. I'm just still exhausted like I mentioned in last week's video. Work has again been super busy this week so I'm really looking forward to my annual leave in two weeks time. I'm going to have a four day weekend and it's going to be glorious. I've also been really enjoying cat sitting this week, uh, it's quite nice to have a little floof just wobbling around all the time. But here's the most efficient alarm clock I think I've ever met and I've woken up early every single day since he's been here. And he's currently snoozing on my lap while I'm recording this voiceover. If you want to go see how cute he is, he has his own Instagram, it's pablo.wobbles.
So I'm just filling in all of my to-dos in the bottom left hand corner. This section did fill up a little bit more over the course of the week and then obviously I have my gratitude section in the bottom left hand corner. If you're new to my channel I don't leave all of this white space, I go in and memory keep everything that happened within the week which you'll see in the final spread at the end of the video. I also like to print a few photos off that I took during the week and then add those into my space with possibility which I use as a little reflection section for the entire week. For my weekly focus this week I put to get back on track with everything like Duolingo, going to the gym, eating my macros properly but none of that really happened this week so it's going to be my weekly focus for next week as well. But that's all of my pre-planning done for this week, let's take a look at the finished spread. So here's the spread all filled out and I really love how this one turned out. I wasn't 100% on using this kit in July because I was hoping to be using some more summery kits this week, but the weather said no so I had to pick something else. And obviously I had to add a few photos of Pablo in my reflection section because he's so cute. So that's everything for this video friends. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed it and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!